Hello, hello there everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Angie. I typically stream art on Tuesday mornings, but here I am trying out a different time slot on a Wednesday evening. What you see over here, this right over here, this lovely link, that is my link tree. Feel free to click that. It'll be the pinned comment throughout the entire stream. It'll show where else you can find me. I'm on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, and of course here on YouTube as well. You can also find me on Ko-fi if you'd like to commission me or send me any donations, whether they are monthly or one time. Hang tight while I get some shares done. Yo, Jalice, what's good? Jalice is here in the house, J-Lo. Hoi, it's good to see you. It's so good to see you. We're gonna be drawing for like, I don't know, how long? Uh, uh, like four hours. Four hours of lo-fi and drawing shenanigans. Hi, Stephanie, what's up? You also get badges for your team for being here. Jalice, remind me, what team are you on? Did you ever choose a team? Oh, it's winter. Winter, oh my gosh. Hello, Winter. I'm so, so sorry. I keep confusing you on YouTube because we have a Jalice in the community as well, but it's Jessalie. My goodness. All right, hang on, hang on. You're from Dolphins. I know that for sure, Skis. Um, badges. Three badges for every art stream that you all hang out on. Oh, badges. Badges, badges. So let's get this party started. We're going to be working on more stuff from the leaderboard art stream yeah it does it does also since i was just talking to jelise like five minutes ago apologies friend but yeah i thought that you know it'll be good to do a morning and an evening session for people who can't catch the mornings i have to do it within a uh, reason on my own schedule too you know Let's see, winter. Winter is here. And Stephanie's here. Anyone else in chat before I tag my Twitter? And uh, winter, do you mind uh, doing the stream shares? The same thing, just grabbing the link instead of pressing the share button. Uh, let's see. Here and let's see, Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie's here. So good to see you. All right, let's see. Like, well, yeah, oh my gosh, winter. So, what we decided to do was, um, we extended for Animal Crossing, but we did it like a pot. So like, so basically the people had to like agree on what they wanted to switch up the game to be. And then like someone started it. So Mac Attack started the, the thing with like a $4 dono. Like I want to put it towards a pot for extension. And I was like, okay, well, if that doesn't work out, we'll throw them into beans at the end. Cause I can't like, do puppets or anything because that would extend the stream by five minutes right so we ended up doing animal crossing and i'm like all right well i know that it's gonna take like an hour to do the chores anyway so how about this after i'm done doing chores and saying hi then i'll go and then we'll start the hour timer right at the beginning of a build so we did a happy home build so if you want to go to the last hour I know it sucks, but if you want to look at the last hour, I did a panic build. I did two floors. I forgot to do the outside though. Uh, let's see, tweetity tweet tweets. Doing the shares is really difficult while I'm on here on my own, but you can't exactly just tweet on my Twitter, you know? Okay. Uh, let's see. 
art stream at night. Oh, whoa. Join us. All right, the tweet is put on. Let's see if we can manage to get the stuff. Uh, I guess I'll do the shares then. Yeah, the Discord's not tagged up. If we could, do you think you could get the uh, typical groups for just shares in general and just share the YouTube link? And I'll do the Discord like the announcements and the stream tags. I think that's a little bit more important. Oh, you got it in announcements, I see. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, hello everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Angie. I'm a streamer on Facebook Gaming. You can follow me at fb.gg slash shenanigans of Angie. My name's a play on words, kind of like a, oh, what is going on? Oh yeah, my name is a play on words. It's like Angie in the middle of all the shenanigans. Today we're making a request from my Facebook Gaming community. Uh, you can check out the link tree in the pinned comment to see where else you can find me. You can find me on Facebook, like I just said, on Twitch, Kofi, and of course right here on the U of the Tubes. What is up, Merchy? Good to see you. Oh, come on in. Congratulations again on um, joining the ranks of the top players, the all-star players, if you will. You've gotten another three badges. You do leave only... 20 badges for a uh, team cat to balance out the server. But you yourself do get one of these fancy dancy requests. So think, 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 think before, uh, what is it? The second week of December, you'll have until then to decide what you wanna do. All right, fam bam, here we are once again. We have a really fancy QR code if you're watching on desktop and you'd like to try out this QR code with your phone. It'll take you directly to the Kofi. Of course, you could always use the link tree in the pink comment instead. But this is just another fancy way for you to find where to support me best. Okie dokes. You can also, if you decide to subscribe, you get multiple perks. For one, we have a 30% off of my future commissions. You also have access to an 18 plus voice chat and access to exclusive digital art streams. All my traditional art stream stuff is public to view here on YouTube. Otherwise the digital stuff like me making my PNG tube and all of that good stuff is private for my monthly supporters. Uh, here what we have is an example of what I did last for Jeffrey. Jeffrey is one of our Facebook gaming community who really, really likes Mario Kart. This one was a more recent um, request that we've done. Uh, he really likes Rosalina and Daisy. <laughs> so uh, he wanted Rosalina waving on Mario Kart with the words, I heard you're a great racer, Jeff. And so this is kind of how we worked around it. Uh, this time he wants Daisy and Rosalina in Saber jerseys on a couch. I really enjoy when people give me um, a little bit of a challenge while doing these things. Hey, Chris, what's up? Oh my gosh, yeah, Merchie absolutely killed it. Amazing, amazing. So good, so many bonus, all the bonus badges. I love it. Okay, let's, uh. Excuse my hand here while I give Chris his badges as well. Mm. <laughs> Chris, you're right above Merchy, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Love that, love that. All right. Okay, so here's the deal. 
This is what we did before. Now we're doing his new request. His new request is kind of tricky tricky. So let's look at some references. When I first heard this request, I thought of The Simpsons. Can you all think of any other references that we could use um, where basically there are cartoon characters on a couch? I am absolutely awful with pop culture knowledge, so I am once again asking for your support. Can you help me understand pop culture? What cartoons or, uh, yeah, cartoons specifically would have something like the image that we see here. So I can reference it when uh, doing this request because it's gonna be a little tricky. It's not exactly something I feel confident doing from my head. So I think it will take about the full, um, yeah, I think it'll take about the full four hours because <laughs> it does have a background, probably thinking of some positions and stuff. I could, but not family-friendly shows. Well, we're just looking at the references of them sitting on the couch. You're not, like, telling people to go look it up. You know what I mean? You're not going into great detail of why they're not family-friendly. I just need to look it up on the back end and find something, like, here. Like, there's probably quite a few things from The Simpsons that I don't think might be family-friendly. But we're not going to air that on this YouTube channel. Does that make sense? Okay, uh, let's see. So right now I also have to look at, yeah, so let's do, I also have to look up the reference of the Sabre jerseys and as well as Daisy and Rosalina. It's a lot of things to look up, to be honest. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, so search messages, Jeffrey. Okay. We sent him things. Uh, I think he sent a... Okay. Saber jersey. Maybe he sent it on Discord. Just a... <laughs> Hi, Bong! What's good? So good to see you, friend. Yeah, um, Rosalina Daisy on a couch watching TV wearing saber jerseys. That's a lot. It's like a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. Where's Bong? Bong on the sheet. We got Bong on the sheet. Bong is here. What's up, Bong? We got Bong with the three badges for sharks. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. I think, yeah, I think he might have sent it to me on Discord. Jeff, Jeffrey? Jeffrey's not on Discord though. And it's not in the, I swore he sent me a picture of the Sabre jerseys, the team. Does anyone, <laughs> can someone help? What a, uh, wow, thanks so much. Oh, cool. Here's a pic of my Halloween costume. These were recent. You're a great racer. You're a great streamer. He's so sweet. He did reach out to tell me that he has autism too and he felt safe enough to share that. And I feel really glad that my place is a safe space. Can I get Princess Rosalina, like she's riding Mario Kart text? Okay. Uh. Maybe, where did he, oh, maybe it's in the page. Hold on. There's too many places to message me, Famarino. Buffalo Sabres is an NFL hockey team, is that one? Oh, cool. You can pin the Mod Squad resource sheet, that's amazing. On your home phone, love that. That's really fun. Okay, hold on. I think, I think I know where he reached out because I kept telling him, like, don't message me privately. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right, okay. I think I'm on to something. Here it is. I think it's a hockey team. It's two crossed sabers, and it does look like a buffalo 
facing left. Rick and Morty might have something on the couch. Oh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of stuff that's not family friendly, but probably has the reference we need. Rick and Morty would be on that list for sure. Sabres. Uh, what did he say? I am... Oh my god. Uh, Princess Daisy Rosalina with Buffalo Saber jersey sitting on a couch watching TV and text that both say go sabers on top okay well first of all we'll just do it once and then have the speech bubble coming from both of them that's a nhl i'm so glad you're here thank you <laughs> thanks pong <laughs> so lost help um uh, i want to show you the buffalo jersey okay sure uh, Saber. Not from the anime. Do you know what anime I'm talking about that has Saber in it? See, I am more, um, <laughs> I am more likely to, yeah, I'm more likely to know what you're talking about if you're talking about anime as opposed to like anything else <laughs> okay we're also gonna look at what is it daisy sitting reference not quite sure i'm gonna get that but we're gonna look up some okay i do not recommend just googling female video game characters and the word sitting you get some weird stuff um mario princess what is this oh you know what i got mario strikers that might be a good one to look up mario strike <laughs> yes <laughs> boom yes yes um is there a reference of daisy's <laughs> this one might actually be a lot more than I- oh, you know what? Hold up. This one... But then I- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look up. Is Rosalina in Strikers? Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, this might be- <laughs> let's- let's see what we can do. Hold on, let me hide this drawing. Okay, and then we're gonna go- a lot of the drawing process is just struggling to find the right references, let me tell you what. Owl House? Oh, Owl House has a couch? Okay. Uh, okay, so here's Daisy from Mario Strikers. I'm feeling like that fourth image, like, if I just change it from, like, exhausted to, like, excited and, like, change the jersey on top and, like, match the colors, then maybe, like, fudge the legs so it looks like she's sitting on the couch that could be one right um yeah is rosa in mario strikers rosalina oh she is have you seen the fake cooking and i have i have i have actually that was like one of my uh Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's like, um, it's like a slice of life shokugeki, but with fake characters. And it's honestly one of the best things ever. <sighs> okay, can I get like a reference for Rosa that's like sitting? Ooh. No, I want the, like, jersey. Give me the jersey, Rosa. Why is Rosa always drawn like this? My goodness. Give me... Oh, my lord. Can't... Can't women in video games just be women without being, like... 
a huge peachy badonka donk and it all there. Uh, wow, what is happening? Rosalina Animations. Alright, okay. You're shout- oh my gosh, take a picture I want to see! Drop that in the Discord. Self-care shark made it! Shark shark. Okay, alright. This is kind of a weird looking reference, but I think I got a better looking reference for Rosa than whatever else I was looking at. Let's do Rosa. Lena. All right, let's adjust this secretly. Oh my gosh, I'm really glad I did that because it's huge, it's big, it's quite large. It's quite large, in fact. Um, oh. Okay. Uh yeah. No 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 no. Okay, let's shrink that down to okay. I don't know what I did, but take it back. Take it all back. Take it all back. Take it all back. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one as a reference, but like the middle one. And then I'm going to also combine perhaps uh just people sitting on couch reference so perhaps not the simpsons one because they're very very cartoony here you can at least tell the proportions of like the arm to leg so one thing is that, that i'm really trying to work on is that generally when people are standing and this is a thing i like get like fudged up when people are sitting i guess it's I don't know. I guess it would be longer when you're sitting because your legs are closer up to your torso. But your middle finger, the, the length of your middle finger, your longest finger, should generally line up to your mid thigh. Hey there, Zen Panda. It's Roy. What's good? Okay, so we got a Rosa. I'm looking at strikers. I think that's going to be the easiest way. And then we got the saber jerseys. I think I showed that. Yeah, we got this. We're gonna throw them in this. Okay, and then we also have to, well, I don't wanna shrink that. And then we also have to consider the couch. The couch. Let's look at Owl House. Owl house sitting on couch. Oh. That's, this is cute. I like, I like this one. I need to watch Owl House. Uh, let's do Owl House for this one. We're splicing together a whole bunch of different references here. It's gonna be very interesting, I think. I think that this one has like the right kind of poses and stuff like that that we're kind of looking for. All right. This is the one from Owl House I'm looking at, but I think I will take the couch aesthetic from The Simpsons. So couch aesthetic from The Simpsons, but posing um, from Owl House. Not like exactly, but I kind of like how this is Luz, right? I think I know enough of the Luz, the one in purple. Yeah, the one on the right, Luz, I really like how like there's that leg underneath the leg on top and then maybe like looking at some other like stock photos for like proportions <laughs> um but i really like her oh I'll, I'll, I'll grab another run from owl house perhaps Luz has some really interesting very relaxed positions that i really like 
Um, this one's a good one too, where it's like crisscross applesauce on the on the thing. Let's see if we can grab that one. PNG file. Owl house two. I think a combination of both of loses uh loses? Loses yeah, uh both of the positions will be good. So there's that one, and then there's this one crisscross applesauce right so we're gonna switch between a whole bunch of those yeah i don't know okay so who's more likely to sit crisscross applesauce you think daisy or rosalina i think daisy would be more crisscross applesauce kind of gal and then um, we can put Rosalina in the OG one I showed you. But like instead of like looking at something and spooked, like maybe like hands down on the sofa, a little bit more lax. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be quite the challenging piece, my gracious. Gonna have to like have some guidelines on these free pieces of art. I'm not being paid for this. There's no monetary value attached to this video. Um, this is just a way of like doing supposedly quick and non-complicated um, artwork. Uh, let's see. Uh, so typically too, I I go post-it size. I do think for this one I'm going to need more space. So I am going to use the post-it here, but I'm going to turn it on its side and then margin it. So I'm gonna use the washi tape to kind of like hold it down and kind of like sketch within the boundaries of the margin. So I still, that will give more space than just the three by three post-it size um, to help fit the couch, which is rectangular. Uh, let's see. Washi tape. Rosalina and Daisy, but also sports. Rosalina and Daisy. I, when I think of the two of them, just because of our type of content, I think Mario Kart. So I'm going to use the banana washi tape. Also, it's got some of Rosalina's colors in there, and I think that would be really nice looking. can't really see the edges. I'm just gonna have to trust myself and then washi tape it afterwards. A lot of art is experimentation. You're gonna see a lot of that experimentation here today um, because it's something that I'm doing that is new, that is out of my boundaries. My usual boundaries, I should say. Okay, um, well, first things first, we need to have a background for me to place these characters on. So I'm going to switch over to the OG. Um, I'm going to push this over this way so that we have space for what we're going to do for the background over here. We're going to switch to the OG kind of... Uh, the, the problem is that this is also a reference of the style, but not how I want it like straight on. So now we got to think, okay... Well, let's look at a couch from straight on from The Simpsons. Simpsons couch. It's hard to see with so many of the characters on there too. Virtual background, Simpsons couch. It's like super iconic. Winter, how are you enjoying your sticker by the way? Did it come out okay? Oh, cute. I just saw another one in admin. I think that's a really nice pose as well. Maybe more that maybe that's more fitting for Rosalina. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, did the die cut come out? Okay. The, uh, the outline of it. Where are you going to put Mr. Shark? Oh, I think I found one that will work. Yeah, 
this one's used as a background. Let's replace this one real quick. I'm glad I hit that. Okay. Let's do fit to screen. Pull this down. I can't see any of your comments. Are you all commenting? Oh, yes. Let me give Roy the badge. Where is Roy? your first batch, Roy? Raccoons. Roy. Thank you for coming in. Does this time slot work better for you to be able to say hello for art? Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, yes. Reference. There you go. That's a more straight on Mm. Where's my straight edge? Let's just use another Polaroid. So this one's kind of like lower. give it a little bit of a border down here. Let's focus on some of here. There's my there's my voice. Let's focus on some of the basic shapes we see here. So I kind of see like an oval. And then it's straight, kind of almost exactly where it would be pressed up against this wall. You see how this line and this line are very, very close. And that's kind of where the back of the cushion of the couch ends. Let's do the three dots. They're kind of tuft. We do have a tuft pillow in the shop too. It's very cute. And here, they kind of cut into both sides. It's tricky because now we're getting into perspective work here. I'm noticing from the reference that the sides of the couch, they don't curve at all. They stay straight up and down. And then they curve onto the edge here. And then at the edges, they curve downwards. And then you have the rest of the cushion here with a little bit of the outline on either side. I'm just kind of focusing on getting the shapes down and then I'll see where I need to trim. I think I should trim around here. Let's measure out because I feel like these are not the same height and I can totally see they are not. It's a very short couch. I'm not sure if I like the left side or the right side, but it is handy to look at the reference on the left and see that it is a little bit longer. Um, but also noting right, that both of these sides here that are facing front to us are also straight. A lot of this is also just me talking out loud as I do a study of the reference in comparison to what I'm doing. So I'm not going to keep to the original line that I did here. And we're gonna stick with that longer piece. Now, both of these kind of go into like a vanishing point. I'm not sure how far back the vanishing point is, but I am just going to mark a vanishing point just to give me some sort of like perspective of where I should kind of start. Mm, 
and if all the lines kind of like match up to that. Do they match up to that? They do. This one does curve a little bit though. This one less so. So let's readjust that one. These sides again are flat. Can you all hear the music okay? So once we're here, we're also going to go up and down again to kind of show the sides of that couch and then side to side again for that bottom half. There's not a lot of extra space from the bottom of those side arms to the base of the couch. the base of the other couch. Music sounds good, thanks Bong. So what are you all doing right now? Did you eat? Also, I'll be on Twitch tomorrow and I haven't decided what game I'm gonna play yet. That's really weird. Winter. Winter has been stopped from commenting. Ripperoony winter. I'm glad Mr. Shark is going in your planner though. I did see that last comment. I don't know if this is going to be enough space. Should I have made it longer? Mm -hmm. I think it's like here. I'm just kind of eyeballing this one at this point. Oh wait, I made these lines crooked. Let's redo this. Where's my eraser? Here we go, we're getting an eraser right now. And they're slanted, I was wondering what was going on. Let's also erase some of the back here. It's actually a little bit higher. Yeah. And then a little bit higher again. These cushions are very uh, shallow, I feel like, which makes the back of the sofa much higher. Yo, welcome back, Winter. Welcome back. I did eat! Now I'm watching anime, watching you, playing Nino, and playing another game on my Xbox. Oh gosh, Bong. Gracious! Uh, well, thank you for keeping me company in this very trying time. Okay. Um, what am I gonna do? Even the couch itself is like, giving me anxiety. Alright, so... The couch... Okay. So the, we got our same vanishing point, right? And then I have to decide from here to here. Okay, if this is half, I'm gonna make this a third and this a third, kinda. I'm just literally eyeballing it so poorly. Okay, that looks kinda right. 
Yeah, that looks kind of right. And then we're going to go to that same vanishing point I marked earlier. And we're going to make it a little triangle. Oh my god. Okay. But then we have to consider... Okay, so this right here. There we go. And then that's how we get the uh, the shape. Each of these are going to be all belong. We're going to make them kind of concave, squished up against each other. But then these go in towards where they would end from the vanishing point. You're not bringing it up like that. They're going like straight in according to the reference. Of course, this is a reference of The Simpsons couch, so I don't know. All right. probably make it a little bit taller like over here I think would look a little bit better yeah I like that a little bit better I'm gonna extend these uh, cushions just a wee bit to the top of this line I can already tell there's so many things wrong here, but I don't I don't study perspective enough to figure out what exactly is wrong. And what's worse is I'm referencing a cartoon. Um Oh, I see. Well, this one comes out a little bit more. It's a lot of the details of like what sticks out, what pokes in furniture-wise. Furniture, perspective, architecture, backgrounds in general, even if it seems like it would be fairly simple, are typically not. Then I have to consider that a lot of this is going to get covered anyways. <laughs> so these buttons, now that I can see the entirety of this, right? see where the sections are I can bump down the buttons I also want to make sure the buttons are still level which looking here they are not but nor are the arms wait they might be they are not okay so I'm gonna shave off a little bit on this side to make those even And then now I have to think about the scale of the characters on the couch. Um, so I actually have a really nice line here, so I think I'll put the little buttons on there. And then make them kind of come in. All right. I'm leaving a little bit of space up here because he wanted to also add dialogue. I am using a pencil. Right now I'm using a pencil. It is um, a Reeves. It is softness 2H, as you can see right here. It's one of those where the numbers dedicate, it's too hard basically, so H stands for hard. Uh, I think the B's and the F's mean something else. It's like their hardness scale. Some of the LEDs are going to be softer. 
meant for like shading so like softer lead you can come in it looks a little bit like charcoal you can smudge it with your finger i'm using this to sketch so i want to be able to kind of like just see the lines i'm doing um let me check this again text they both say go sabers on top so this is probably just to keep it like here i'm not going to do two separate bubbles that say go sabers so in like comic you can just have both of the thing pointing in like go sabers it will probably be all caps say saber because, you know, they're excited, right? Yeah, something like that. And then, like, one on one. Uh... Okay. Well, let's look at another reference. Pow. All right. The next reference we're going to do is likely. Ah, see, the thing is that Luz's pose. Luz does not have the same body proportions as Rosalina or Daisy. But in terms of the pose, it's uh, something nice to look at, to reference. So let's see the one... I'm gonna do Daisy first. So I'm thinking Daisy's like crisscrossed. Instead of like looking down too, like they have to be like either looking at each other or looking far ahead. Let's see if I can get this done by 10. I don't know. It's already 640. This... Hi, Chipito. How it goes. I didn't end up getting the reference I needed from Sam, so I didn't end up doing a Pokemon theme today. So I just took number two off of the off of the queue mm. hi this one's gonna be kind of a tricky one to do so it's gonna basically take the whole time but then hopefully by next week we'll be able to do yours and Sam's request since Sam's request is at the top it's just we don't have a he's basically gonna have to back air hit my lucha chew in game and then I have to take a screenshot at the right time I could also just record our gameplay and then like pause the video um to get like a blurry reference and then that way the YouTube videos can be put together but yeah I'm here live on a night good to see you I'm trying to find more. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm trying to find. Here we go. Uh, this is the one I'm looking at. Okay. Photos. Because it's too small. If I'm going to be looking in my OBS, I need like a bigger one. Why can't I open this? Hello? Is it glitched? Does it not want to work? Uh oh. Can you all still see me? Yeah, I know. That's why I was doing the Pokemon stuff too because it was like, um, it's trending Pokemon as a whole. You know what I mean? I can't view this picture. I don't know why. Close. Close. 
close, close this, close it all. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what's going on. All right, so for Daisy, it'd be kind of like here. And then we're doing neck, shoulders. Luz is like a teenager. Daisy's a full grown adult. Torso ends here. And we got the crisscrossy legs. Shoes. The other foot is completely hidden here. So this is kind of the like silhouette we're going with. So I'm gonna erase this area so I can look and see what's going on here. And instead of a downward look, I wanna make her have an upward look. So I'm gonna tilt the head up. Or maybe like straight, cause the TV would be like right in front, right? I almost feel like her limbs would be like a little bit longer. She'd be like a little bit taller. So like this leg would extend out a little bit more. Her knee's probably gonna be here. It's a very small couch for the two of them, I think. block in the proportions of both of them. I'm drawing Rosalina and Daisy on a couch watching the Sabres game in Sabres jersey saying go Sabres. That is their request so it's gonna be taking a while. Oh my. Yeah I don't know. Uh, let's see what is the height difference between Rosalina and Daisy? Does anyone know? Height difference. Daisy and Rosa. Are they about the same height? Oh, Rosalina's way taller. Maybe I make this, like in comparison to the couch? How do tall people sit on a couch? I won't know because I haven't experienced that in real life. Tall person on couch. Yeah, Rosa's like super tall. Oh. So does Rosa's head end up, do tall people sit with their, oh wow, okay. Yeah, so this is like a teen. This is how I sit on the couch. This is like Angie size. This is like Lou's size, Angie size. Do people really sit on the couch and their heads are above the back frame? Oh my gosh. Yes, that is indeed how normal people sit on a normal size couch. Wow. I'm just very small. I'm like looking at this normal family sitting on the couch. And like their head is like here. That is so not normal to me. Wait, it also kind of depends on the couch. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of space on either side. So maybe I will do two separate bubbles. How does, Winter, I see you in admin, help. Where does your head usually sit? Is it, is that normal? Do people, is that, is that actually how? Your head is above the couch? My head has never been above the couch and my feet have never touched the floor. This is actually taller than me, I think. This is a very low couch, I think, looking at it too. So your head is above couch like this? I'm a child. 
I have the proportions of a child. Okay, I'm looking at this dude sitting here just to kind of like grasp and understand the proportions. Then the torso is like down here. How does this make sense? How do you sit? You're laid back right now and your head is still above the, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Where do you put your feet? I am, yes, I am in a child game chair. This is true. How does one put, does this look right to you? So your head is above the couch. Rosa would be like chilling. And then torso is like here, which means the box of your, like your stomach's like crunched in. And then, what? We sit, just the feet just, they drag on the floor? Wait, no, seriously, okay though. Like, let's say that, okay, this is, this is my experience with sitting. Okay, so let's say like this is the couch. Like these are the cushions. I sit and I'm like way, like my knees are here. My knees don't, my, my feet dangle. This is even like being nice, this is like, my feet don't touch the floor, and even if I tried to, like, go toe-toe, they, like, my toes are, like, here. How on earth? How do... Winter's just taking selfies in my admin, and I don't know what to do. Wait. But how does it look the other way? How does... How far does your feet drag on? How far? The knees are, like, here? What do you do? That just makes me feel like the couch is really small. Like that? Your knees go up. We can put the feet on the floor and the, you can hear my brain breaking, right? Okay, wait, let's see. Okay, wait, okay, so you're, instead of my knees being, so my knees are high, but they have like this kind of like motion, and then they don't touch, they like hover, okay? So for you, what you're telling me is like, it's also up higher, but it's not like, I mean, it's like more like a straight, like, question mark, what's happening? <laughs> uh... Like, like this? So your feet, like, are planted. I see Winter's feet, like, planted. And then, like, shin? And... This just looks like I'm a baby. This looks like I'm a literal child. Next to, like, my mom. Or something. What? <laughs> this can't be the actual difference between me and you. I mean, I'm not even five feet. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so the knees are closer. Thank you, Winter. I'm like, I can't like. Yeah, what? I am a four, I am four feet 11. So I'm like barely five feet. I'm not even five feet. So, 4'11 versus... Winter, how tall are you? Yeah, Rosa... I think the Rosa Daisy height difference is, like, a lot. So I guess it would be kind of like this. Your ankles... Yeah, okay, so your ankles are down here. But the problem... What? Okay. This isn't the same kind of couch. I feel like this couch. 
So you have like a space underneath. This couch like sits firmly on the floor. You're a full foot. Okay, actually, yeah, because then that's the foot, right? That's the foot difference. Huh. Okay. What was the other pose? I guess it's the difference between Luz and, uh, oh, what's her name? The character sitting next to her? Do I need to look at Owl House but treat Rosa as the taller? Because, yeah, she's, like, about that difference, I think. How is she sitting on the actual... Uh, oh god. Okay, Owl House characters name not Amy who Ida Ida sitting on couch owl house Rosa is the top yeah okay okay Well, this is her sitting on the couch. She's like super like it's an owl lady. How well also their couch is very like the back is really tall, I think too. And I think part of it is the uh Sheesh, okay. I literally can't find a picture of her sitting in the actual couch. Wait, but I mean like normally. Like there's the one that I had, but she's like sideways. I don't think that's like right. Okay, hang on. This one, this one, this one. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay. Your back hurts because of how you're sitting right now. And then Ida's like literally draped across the whole thing. Wait, let me show you this. I have not, I, this, my whole family is small. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Let me, let me just show you. Okay. We're gonna pull up this one. Well, I feel like that would be kind of accurate. Hold on. Sheesh. She's like draped across it. How on earth? Okay. Okay, let's flip this. I don't think this is a pose Rosalina would do necessarily so that's the problem like this gives me good idea perspective of a tall person in a couch but she's like resting in the little like nook which doesn't exist on the on this couch that we're doing here but i kind of want like something to reference because i have zero I usually sit on armrests on couches that's true hi david thank you thank you for coming in David, help. It's easier on your knees. David, have you noticed that our height difference does this? Is it like, I don't know if you can think back to like the holiday parties, but like, let's say like this is the couch and like this is like the empty space behind it. Would my, because I know for a fact that's how my feet would do it, but is this how your, you and winter and everyone else that has normal proportions like your feet on the floor height is five feet for rosa or daisy five feet five feet tall is small because i'm 4 11 and my feet don't touch the floor can someone look at oh but I feel like when I look at like Rosalina and Daisy, the difference is just so much. 
Ida, how are you sitting in your couch? Give me, give me a reasonable, I'm sitting on the couch. Owl house, couch, tall people. Couches are usually too short. Yeah, Rosa seems like really tall. Me having a crisis. Let me just look up Owl House Couch. Owl House Couch. I want Ida in it. So there's a bit of a bit. They're like a lot of Ben. She's like. She either is, like, hunched over. I mean, she is an owl lady. She's hunched over so much, like, all the time. I like... Okay, how about this one? Uh... Uh... Uh okay. Let's try let's try this. Uh browse. Uh three. I'm checking admin right now, Winter. Yeah, I think it does depend on the couch. I see her on there, but I need like a pose that makes sense for cheering for a team. You have them out straight? What? Okay, hold on. Okay, how about, how about this? I like the elegance of this one. It's clear that the head is up here. And then, like, the crossing of it, I feel like, is very Rosalina-esque. Uh, she's just facing the wrong way. So I'm going to go into OBS. I'm going to transform it. I'm going to flip horizontal to use this as a reference now. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh... Owl House 3. Can I... Can I flip it myself? No. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a hard time. All right. So let's see. Rosa. Okay. So head is basically around here. But I also want them both facing the TV. So I don't want her actually facing that way. I'm going to have her facing like this. There is a neck. And then there's the arms. I want her a little bit more slack. The elbows tend to be near the belly button. So if we use head proportion, head size, your second head size should be where her nips are. And then the third head size is where the belly button is and this is where her elbow lies so we can have her hand these actually need to be about the same length she's huge I don't know <laughs> this couch is very small I think is what we should be focusing on so here and here the elbow would be here This is a very difficult piece. Um, around here, then you get the base. The base sits right on the cushion. Wow, it's almost like the couch is actually meant for them and not like something to swim in or something. Wow, what a concept. Couches. Wow, okay. I've had my knees to my rib height sometimes. David, my goodness. Okay, and I like how this one, it's actually like popped over. And then it gives like some space for the leg. And it's barely dangling where loses would be. 
And then this knee is actually here, which is what Winter was showing me in admin. The knee is here, but then comes out. And then it like dangles off at an angle, which is what Winter was also saying, because if the feet were flat on the floor like that, it would hurt their ankles. It would hurt their ankles. Okay. Um, yeah, the knee would poke out more on this side. Again, we're getting kind of foot here. The body language here is a little different. Because uh, Ida, I think, is in this one, like, super upset. So she's, like, twisted. But I just want to have, like, a lighter, more elegant feel. I don't know what to do with her arms, though. Okay. David said, what do you do with your arms? I usually sit on arm rests, easier on your knees. Couches usually are too short. Yeah, that's the problem we're having here. So your knees are above the couch. That's what we have here. Actually, the ankles here, and then this is that. That's really rough. Let's have a more relaxed shoulder. And then I feel like the more natural thing is to just kind of like sit the hand in here. Is that, is that really how it feels like for you in the couch? I feel like the couch is just tiny. One hand down, shearing. Or maybe one hand up. Because this hand is down, so what would the other hand do? I think this is the arm motion. Thumb is on this side. Yes, couches are small. Our couch, couches are small in general, unless you get like a really big couch. Is that what you're telling me? Why would you want to spend most of, <laughs> why would people want to spend time on the couch if it's like small? Is that why you all like your armchairs instead? I can usually like lay flat and still have space on the top and the bottom of my head and my feet. If you have legs crossed above the knee, the raised leg is going to be much higher. I'm just going by the reference. Let's see. Ugh. This is the butt. This is where the foot's going. Ida's knee comes down here. And then we have the foot at this angle. It looks exactly the same as what I did. 
This whole lump here is the knee. That might be what's doing it. There's a lot of like tangents here. Is that better? Can you see the knee now? I always have to cross away from people or it'll get up in their business. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. You can see that like Daisy's gonna be absolutely crushed. But like, I think we can let her crush her because like composition wise, if it's away, it's gonna look really awkward. And then this way it makes them look like they're close enough to have that boundary crossed. That's uh, so now I can no longer say uh, ghost sabers unless I do ghost sabers here, but he wanted them both to say it. So maybe I'll do it both the same on both on like either side, but I really don't want to have to do that. She's also like. not fitting in the couch is that normal for you david like you would just be like having your butt rammed into the armrest okay let's uh let's look at a reference new reference all the references We're gonna do Rosa, Rosalina. All right, here's Rosalina. You always go in the corner. Okay, well, at least that's accurate. Here we go. We got Rosa here. Her eye is totally covered. Cool. Got one big old eye. Her nose. Let's make her smiling. She doesn't actually have that large of a chest. Let's bump that down a bit. She does have a long hair. Rosalina. Yeah, her hair comes down and then like does the like, like mid back. Yeah. It's like flip mid back. God. This just makes it feel wrong. <laughs> it makes it look like I did something wrong. If I use pillows, I would do both. Interesting. When it's not, I put my legs on her. <laughs> That's hysterical. Okay. Let me look at the Sabre jersey. Uh, okay. Well, jerseys. So we got this neck thing across. And then there is this pattern. And then the lines across here.
And then uh, jerseys are a little bit looser. So we're gonna let that drape off here. Uh, where the elbow is, there is some stripes. Two stripes together, space, large, yellow stripe, space, two stripes together. When doing stripes, I'm following the edge here. Uh, okay, when the hand is straight up like that and there is a little bit of slack, you're gonna do a little bit of a like, like gravity is pulling the sleeve down, right? So you're gonna do a little like oval. And then think about where the crunch in the uh, jerseys are gonna be. The stripes are not going to be as far apart because it is crunched together over here, like so. This is a lot, okay. Um, unfortunately for Rosa, the saber part of the jersey, you have just the top part of the circle because she's crunched in like that. Um, and it looks like the jersey is quite long, so I feel like Rosa would look, use it like a dress. And it would be a loose jersey dress. You know what I mean? So it'd be kind of like that. And she'd probably use like blue legging stockings like she has here. And why not? Let's give her those like stripey socks. And we'll keep it at the socks. She's inside. Uh, these would be... This is like a pinky. There you go. Right? That looks super ridiculous to me. <laughs> Wait. Let's get her hand properly. There we go. Yeah? Winter David, would you say that... Because I, I, I have no reference point at this point for what that looks or feels like for someone of this height. There's a lot going on because it's not a very form-fitting thing either, so we wouldn't actually see a whole lot of the chest. It'd just be like loosely coming down. It's not form fitting like on strikers. So I think it'd be like, it wouldn't erase her boob, but I think like it'd be fitting a little bit loose, but then it's tricky cause she's like facing sideways. She's on the edge of, well, yeah, I'm talking more about like the proportion of the couch to yourself as a person. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe if I extend the couch a little bit, I'll make it a little bit bigger. It feels a little bit more reasonable. Can make the armrests a little bit bigger. And then this can be like the couch covers underneath. It just does not look comfortable. 
which is oddly so from what i'm hearing that is the case that a lot of people who are taller just aren't comfortable in couches i'm sorry for this experience i'm sorry for the pain the couches have caused all of you i wasn't aware You wouldn't see the couch there. She's got a lot of hair. That's how I feel on a couch. Yikes. Okay. Well, good to know. That's why it's good to talk to other people about their experiences. Uh, let's see. You both, David too. So Winter's an admin because Winter can't speak in the comments for whatever reason. But Winter's saying that their mom would prefer to sleep on the floor than the couch. David, is that accurate for you as well? So fascinating to me. Okay, hold on. This leg goes here. This, where did the rest of her leg go? There we go. Wait, yeah, 90 degree angle. But then there's this weird like, goes over. Legs are weird. Let's give her some tights. Okay, David. Take care. Hmm. Wow. All right. This has been an eye-opening experience. Let's see what Daisy looks like. All right, here we go. Oh, because it's flipped. Uh, okay. Daisy's... Daisy is more of, like, the... What I expect on a couch. So, she's got big, poofy hair, though. Would they both be wearing their crowns? I feel like they would, yeah. I think Chapito is saying that canonically Daisy is my height. So I guess that makes sense. If we are ever on the couch together, this is what it would look like. Daisy's actually taller than I am. Uh, Daisy's got a little chest here, but it's kind of like pulled in. So let's see, the jersey would kind of fall around here. 
Uh, there's not as much neck here going on. You would see a little bit more of the Sabres jersey this way, but like not by a lot. There's like a buffalo at the top and then you got like Sabre crossing. This is a lot of like really minuscule detail. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to even do with a Copic marker actually. Oh, Winter, I wish I could help, but I've been in panic mode all week and I just, I cannot be there for other people right now in that sense. I'm sorry. I did mention in admin I was not having a very good brain day for like several months. You can step away if you need to. If this is helping you, then that's a different story. But if my stream is not helping right now and for some reason causing a lot of the anxiety then you are welcome to step away for your own mental health i yeah i'm saying that i i can't <laughs> like i don't want to hear it right now because i would not be in a well place and I was needing help from my moderators to help other people who wanted to be heard because I can't hear it right now. Uh. Okay, well, again, if you needed to step away for your own well-being, I you have my full support to do that as well. I'm basically saying I'm not going to like judge you if you need to take care of yourself or if for some reason the stream's being triggering for whatever reason. I hope that's not the case. I'm really sorry you're going through that though. I don't want to sound like callous or anything. It's just a boundary I have to put up right now because I hear it from literally every single person in the community when I'm like not doing well myself and like I can't like, I just can't keep doing this. I hope you understand. This on its own is a very stressful piece. It's a lot of things I'm not really familiar with. Um, I'm gonna do my best. And on its own too, it's like it's like the least of my worries, you know. The this picture, like it's literally like <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this to distract myself, you know what I mean? other foot just disappears so I guess it would be her sock I don't want to be drawing like Mario princess feet here socks and stockings at home are fine I think A 
something going on with the face I'm not a huge fan of. Daisy's got really big eyes. I think that's the thing, too, is because Rosa's so tall, Daisy looks like a literal child next to Rosa. And I think it's just, like, the height difference. But also what's not helping is that this, um, the jersey is a long jersey. I think if I made this leg a little bit like over here, maybe we can like add in like her pumps. This is so specific. Also, yeah, the way that the stomach would crunch here, you still can't really see the logo. But I hope that with the colors added in, that it's going to be obvious what this is. She's got like bangs on the side, right? Probably put the text here. like a double double speech bubble sort of thing these new lines. Okay. Let's make this line a little bit lower. It's a very sketchy, this sketch. Check that out. 
This extremely, uh, <laughs> what is it? A two hour sketch trying to reference a whole bunch of different references. This is what we got. I need to make this smaller in order to have this meet the, the speech bubble needs to be smaller so that the margins look right. Oh God. Okay. So if I'm doing like a margin like here and here, this really needs to kind of have some margin space. Like here and here, right? And then smaller font. Can make the border a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner as well. gonna carry through the stripe it's not gonna end at the foot because these are stripey socks That height difference is really apparent. But it's good to know. I'm glad that David and Winter were able to poke in and let me know that this is in fact what's expected. Cause sometimes when you just don't know, you're just sitting there like panicked, like am I messing up? Am I doing things wrong? <coughs> am I not doing the taller person justice? You know? Um, <coughs> But this way, I have like some sort of confirmation that this is accurate. Because I know this is how I accurately feel on a couch as someone similar to Daisy's height. And now both David and Winter have confirmed that this is how they feel as a tall person on a couch. Oh, excuse me. All right. Okay. Now for the super tricky part, usually I would use a thicker paper for this, but seeing as how much I struggled uh, through, through this, one little tucked button in the middle, this button's like, the other button's covered and so is the other one. I don't even know if it's worth doing. Well, yeah, I guess, cause then it'll show, all right. I'm going to use computer paper because it's going to be easier to follow the line since this is not by any means a clean sketch at all. Um, and I'm not doing watercolor, so computer paper will just be fine. There's some more wiggle room around Daisy, so you're going to see more of the crevices of the pillow around her. Especially her foot is up. There you go. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's. Let me go ahead and mute and just cut out this piece of paper um, off of the camera. But basically we're gonna be using the post-it size. And we're gonna be using the same markers that we used for this other piece uh, with Rosalina. 
Rosalina's much shorter in this one. I was using the model from Mario Kart. Um, this one I was actually looking up height differences since it had two different characters, and so it was much, much more apparent. Just gonna go to the FAQ scene. Okay. Mm I've now traced that. We now have this up over here. A little reminder if you'd like to check out the link tree to see where else you can find me. All right, fam bam, I'm back. I am back, ready for some action. Um, I'm gonna stay on this scene because now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull this away. I'm gonna turn on the light table. I need to adjust the light source so I'm not literally blinding everyone in the middle of the night. literally this piece of paper right here. We're on to my least favorite part, which is line arting, but it seems to be everyone else's favorite part to watch me do. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so we're just gonna slip the light table underneath here. Scooch this all the way up, all the way up. Gonna center this nice. Gonna tack this down so it doesn't move. Okay, now we're gonna put this on top of this. Wow, see how much easier I can see those lines because it's the type of paper I'm using. And on this note, this is where I'm going to make sure I have everything within line of what I want. And I'm 
going to go with a very thin, thin stripe at the top. Just want a little bit of a border, you know? That's probably as good as I'm going to get it. I'm sticking it to the new paper so I can wiggle it around. Making sure that the border itself is straight. I'm also watching the foot to make sure I don't like get it cut off. And this is probably as good as it's going to get. All right. We're going to match up the thickness of the margins. This is one of the thinner margin pieces I'm going to do. Um, I'm already going around it as if I'm going to like color flood it, which I'm not. Uh, but just in case like anything I draw goes out of bounds, I don't want the pen marks to go out of the bounds of the color because that's going to look really awkward, which is why I'm using the washi tape all the way around like this. All right, now we're pushing this down. The exposure hasn't actually been that bad. It's been pretty good at being automatic. bubbly but what can you do I'm just gonna have to push it down as we do it So let's switch mm, our stream. Here we are once again. Thank you so much for being so patient. Hi, Anka. It looks good. Oh, I'm glad. Angie streams are the way to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. There's a cat sitting on my toe. Oh, hi, hi, ho, ho. Angie streams the way to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. There's a cat sitting on my toe. Hi, Anka. Welcome on in. Let me give you some badges for being here and typing hello for foxes. Here you are. So, so far, let me know if I forgot anybody. But so far, we have Anka, Stephanie. Who else was in dogs? Is this Chris? Let me see if I can find Chris. I think I accidentally wrote on this one. Who stopped by today? Yep, it's Chris. Chris. Cool. Then we have Chris. And then Murchie stopped by. Uh, Bong stopped by. Who else? Winter. And then Roy. So I have Roy, Winter, Chris. Oh, no worries. If you needed to rest, you need to rest. I was just telling Winter that. I want you to listen to your own bodies. And if for whatever reason, like, it just doesn't match up, that's totally fine. There is basically no pressure. And I understand. Merchy, Chris. Stephanie and Anka. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna go into 
figuring out what lines in here we're gonna do so i'm <laughs> there's a lot going on we're gonna do i think point one as the big one this time and then hmm. yeah and then point two five no Point one is smaller than point two five, so I need a point zero. So after that, I'm going to use point zero three as my small one. This one's a lot more detail oriented than the other one. Love the cold weather, but it's been making you sleepy. Well, that's that's good. At least you're getting some rest, right? eyes are definitely going to be a point look how small that is it's like a needle needle point let's make this not crooked for you okay I especially love waking up in a cold room in the winter oh and you don't want to get up because the blanket is the right warmth we have an electric blanket right now and it's really doing doing me a thing this is exactly like I literally need a needle in order to do this and then we have the hairline and then from the hairline I'm gonna switch to the bigger one Rosa's got really fluffy, big hair. Her mouth nice and big like she's yelling and really cheering on but we're gonna include some of her teeth at the top some space teeth on the bottom I forgot to include her crown. You know, the more I look at this, the more I don't think they should be wearing crowns. They're like comfy cozy at home, you know? I'm really glad you're being comfortable enough to like knock out Anka. It's a good sign. So these lines actually are like little rectangles. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. They're like the stitching on the outside.
the hands. There we go. That's a decent hand shooting up in the air. This hand is gonna rely on how well I do the legs. Again, confirmation right in the edge of the sofas. <laughs> Uh, when work paid out our vacation pay, I had four to five weeks of pay. Oh, wow. That's really great. I'm glad. You know? Uh, not great. I'd rather if you don't ask. <laughs> Streaming is one of the best parts. Your company is one of the best parts about it. Um, but that's why I'm trying to ask people what's good. Um... So in terms of what's good for me, because sometimes, you know, people are going through a lot um, and they want to tune in to something uh, to distract them. I don't want them to get, like, bogged down with my problems or other people's problems. Um, I'm excited to cross this off the list. I feel great about being productive. Um... I went to Michael's, it was very empty, so I felt very safe while doing that. And I got another puncher. So now I have a heart puncher for Kofi donations. Um, I wasn't able to use it today, but I am excited to use it tomorrow since I'll be on Twitch. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna play on Twitch tomorrow. Does anyone have any um, suggestions with the games that I do have or things that they've been wanting to see uh it will be me <laughs> it'll be in the morning um so next week the twitch slot will be during the evening as well i feel like those are best for like story games or um stuff like that and i'll be sure to write out maybe i don't know should we have a text channel that writes out the twitch vods of what they are so that you can decide if you want to like sponsor a video or something. I have not finished the dry nail run, although I am kind of hesitant to bring up Hollow Knight again. I did end up beating Hornet. That was wonderful. Um, but now I'm kind of lost and like wandering around. Um, and Tony was the one who got me that game and I just don't know his availability, but I do need to finish it at some point. Um, to be honest, I do feel a lot of like anxiety and mental health and Hollow Knight is not a very happy-go-lucky game slice of life thing. I think that would got me kind of into a crisis mode when I'm barely hanging on by a thread mentally, especially when things keep coming up. Um, angry Angie. Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling Hollow Knight. I know that it's definitely on the plate, but um, I, I just don't think it's beneficial to my health right now <laughs> uh but otherwise i don't know anything like competitive so not no not moti that's the unfortunate thing is the things that would have like brought me like some sort of joy are done by the way you need to pick up a uh, great ace attorney <laughs> at some point um yeah i don't know it's just like real hard right now So this is the 90 degree angle leg, but the angle leg is tucked underneath. I mean, I can pretty much be like 18 plus Angie no matter what I play, you know? So that's not really like my concern. My concern is I don't know what I want to play. Um, I mean, I can get through the list of games that I do have. 
if that's helpful. Uh, usually on the end of streams, I just kind of like roll through and I've been like saying what games I have. Would that be helpful to you? Let me take out my Switch since I'm using no like software right now. Like, I'm also avoiding potion permit because a lot of the anxieties are like health related, so I don't think that'll be helpful either. Are you planning your regu regular schedule next week? Um, I think so. It's hard because I have to plan around Marcus as well. Marcus is also possibly using the computer for streams for his own stuff as well. So that kind of puts a damper on things. My hair is stuck in my pen. Give me a second. Ow. Okay, great. I'm back. I'm back, everybody. I could do more Animal Crossing with just, like, profanity. Um, people did ask for it today, and Winter's been asking for it. Okay, so I went to go get my Switch. The things I have on my Switch are Animal Crossing Mario Kart. I have the SNES and the Nintendo 64. I have Smash. I have Pokemon Unite. I have Tetris. Um, I have Cozy Grove. Cat Quest 2. I have Pokemon Arceus which I still haven't beaten. I have Breath of the Wild. I have Super Animal Royale. That could be kind of funny. Um, yeah, those are the ones. And then on the computer, I have Fall Guys Potion Permit. Tell us the truth about Zell. What's that? Oh, Zell. <laughs> I don't know. Would you be available to watch then? How many of you would be available to watch 11 to 3 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow? I usually do my schedule, David, on Sundays because that's when Marcus gets an idea of his schedule and then like I can talk to the Kofi supporters about it and then draft up the uh, schedule. Unfortunately, it's going to be week by week. But for the most part, I do try to stick to something consistent. Um, my start times will always be 11 and 6. So this morning stream was 11. This evening stream on YouTube was at 6. What's Cozy Grove? Cozy Grove is like bear ghosts. Bear ghosts. It's like Animal Crossing as well, but it doesn't like run away from you in terms of like time. That's like a really weird way to put it, but you know how Animal Crossing will keep track of how long you didn't touch your game? Well, with Cozy Grove, it leaves off on the day that you left it. It's a shame that you can't really see the logo, but I mean, that's where it would be. Yeah, it's like Ghost Animal Crossing, and then like they each have their own stories, they don't remember it. I mean, technically, I could do Dreamlight Valley now that uh, Keith actually gifted me Gamer Pass. I've never played it, so it would be a first, uh, what's it called? A first playthrough, uh, first reaction sort of thing.
Yeah, I just got Game Pass. I haven't hooked it up yet. I might need help actually understanding how to do that. I also have Epic Games, so anything free on Epic Games as well. The details in this is so, like, it's so little. I'm using, I'm basically using a needle point pen to uh, draw right now. gonna add the back of her skull there since I'm not putting the crown. connection up here by the way it's like I don't like the darkness right now of hollow night sort of thing stripes here on Daisy would be close together. These scrunch, so this would also be a stripe close together. These also scrunch. There's a lot going on in this piece. And then there's another stripe right here. About the same over here. four fingers. Her four fingers are going to be holding her feet. One finger, two finger, three fingers, four fingers, curve. Gosh, this is complicated. <laughs> What's the theme of Ori, though? Like, is it just as, like, Sayad. We're following the curve of this fold here. Daisy's going to have hers around here. And then, like, shoes. OK. 
Good God. Okay. The couch. Hello. Is this not writing? No. Come on. Speak to me, buddy. You can write. A lot. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the game. Okay, so what is in the game suggestions that I now have because I have game pass? Monster Sanctuary. Garden Story? I feel like I've played Garden Story. Is that a puzzle game? Oh no, that's Garden Scapes.
The thing is, I also haven't like heard of any of these games. I am also trying to do something that's like relevant right now and trendy. Although it is Twitch, so I am a little bit more open to like a few indie games. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna look, let's see. Okay, we're gonna run with it because I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna remove this and then we're going to adjust the settings of the exposure and all that jazz. Goat simulator? I have goat simulator? What on earth? What is a goat simulator? I think I saw that on Epic Games? Yeah, Epic Games. Okay, so this is what we got. We got sketch versus the final line art. Again, not feeling so great about whenever the line art takes away from the sketch, but then we can kind of see where the problematic areas are. And then I can add a little bit more, uh, what's it called? Character. These lines are also like super light. Here, let me go to the... Since I'm not um, gonna color it in quite yet, we can show the comparison. So areas that look a little flat or a little odd. Rosa doesn't have eyebrows. Eyebrows help a lot with the expression she has kind of more of like an upturn in the sketch so i'm gonna continue off of that thanks stephanie Go to 0.005, because I think that's a good in-between. I think that's what I'm missing. Yeah, this is a good needle point. I feel like this area of the couch could use a little bit more personality. The cushions as well. Oh no, wait, what have I done? I messed up her foot. How was I supposed to have this? Oh, these are her fingers. Her fingers went all the way past. And then there isn't anything under here, so let's carry through the jersey, I think. Just overall, this is a really busy piece. Okay. The locks in the hair and the separation with the body here are just like not cutting it for me. Maybe 0.25.
Daisy's hair is a little odd. this one today which I'm surprised about okay let's uh is this on my screen oh it's on my screen okay so let's tack it down again so we can color it in trying to see the edge here and make sure it's straight before I tack it down with even more washi tape. coffee dating thing with like fantasy creatures that was in the suggested game suggestions but I don't know if it's available on game pass coffee talk I think it was called I can't tell where the edge of this paper is oh there it is oh I don't think that's straight hold on I think it was actually fine. Great. Okay, hold on. I'm going to make a line underneath so I can kind of see where the edges are of these two. So I can actually, like, see what's going on underneath. There we go. Now I can kind of gauge and see if it's straight. Yep, okay, much better. All right. This is what we got going on. Let me adjust the brightness. off here. Hold on. It 
It's looking all right. I don't even know what I don't like about it. Is the problem. Usually I have a pretty good sense of like what I want to improve, but like this thing is just like driving me a little nuts, so. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get the markers out. Bye, Anka. Thanks for dropping by. Let's just do it. Let's just get it out of the way. Sometimes you're not gonna like all the art you make. In fact, most artists don't like most of the art they make. I can't really name an art piece that I actually truly like 100%. I liked my one Nino Kuni one as a sketch and then I ruined it and then I never went back to it. We're starting with our lightest. I think it'll just be easier for me to kind of like block out the skin tones here. Section's kind of suggestive. Let's get her hand. Okay, it's looking a little better with some color. I think when some depth is added back in, it'll definitely grow on me a little bit more. This is a white piece of the jersey. Daisy shoe. Is it orange or yellow? We're gonna go with a pale yellow for Rosa's hair because I am confident in that and it is a light color. and some canary yellow. What color are Rosa's eyes? What do I have in my image? Okay. Let's look at Rosalina, I guess. Let's scooch this over since we're doing this. Okay, she's got a lot of like aquas and teals and mint blues. Let's do a... Mint blue eye, Raz Daisy. I'm gonna zoom in on her. Daisy also has blue eyes, but I think she has more of like um, a light blue. 
No, yeah, Rosa, she's got the mint blue. Rosa's got the other blue. I use, yeah, there we go. She's got like orangey hair, maybe like the same as Charizard. Yeah, I think the color is definitely helping at least a little bit. I miss their ears. I need to go back and color in their ears. We're gonna do powder pink for the cheeks when you're cheering for a team and also just in general to add a little bit of life into their faces again depth where there should be some ears nose let's give daisy a nose and a forehead her bangs would cast a shadow the underneath of the thighs let's get their tongues dabbing it in so I don't color the teeth on accident. What kind of colored couch do you think they would have? I think in... What is it? The Simpsons? The Simpson? Simpsons. The Simpsons couch is pinks. Um, not couch. The... What you call it? The wall. The back wall is pink. So I kind of want to like do that. But I'm not sure. Maybe just a classic brown, like a leather. What do you think? can do the shadow of the couch right behind. Give it some separation from the wall by layering it again with the same marker.
Sometimes with alcohol markers, if you go in and rub areas where you just saw that there was like some pink getting into her hair, I'm like rubbing it out right now. Sometimes it's pretty good about doing that for you. Although I'm not sure what's coming up on the other side. Nothing? Okay. I want to add a little bit of the powder pink on her hand for the shading here. There you go. A lot better. I'm going to go over the shading one more time in certain areas to really get that like idea of like where things are. This leg above this leg, the squish happening with the thigh. The hands on Daisy over here need a little bit more oomph. Okay, uh, what is the floor? The floor is like this green teal doodad going on, like an aqua? Interesting. If we're gonna be sticking to the Simpsons colors, you know. This is such a specific matchup. Simpsons meets Mario characters meets uh and NHL. It's like very specific content here. Okay, I'm gonna do darker oops well now the now the couch has to be a dark color because i botched it but i wanted to do the shadows it's like carpet right so we want to add like a little bit of like, clearly, it's gonna be some sort of carpet. There's no hardwood that looks like this. So let's add a little bit of dots to make it obvious that's what it is. I'm gonna lay the Copic marker a little bit flat. Okay. What are the colors of this thing again? Let's start with the lighter colors. We have... A straight up, let's just go yellow. Yeah, I think this will help make it pop too. And then I can add some yellow into Rosa's hair. Where I think it's a little flat that could use a little bit more life. A little distinction in her bangs, for example. It's warming up to me. Uh, it's the yellow stripe. And then the one next to it is white. There's actually gonna be a white, stri a yellow stripe like here. That I'm looking at this. Cool. What else we got? Then with uh, this one. Oh, okay. So it's yellow on top, yellow on bottom, white stripes on the inside yellow band in the middle and then this thing is also yellow yellows on the outside followed by stripes base and then this okay so knowing that I think Rosa would have huge yellow and white socks with a trim of the blue that I'm going to add in after the fact. Okay. So same thing with Daisy. This is yellow. Top is yellow. White space yellow. But this is crunched up because of the way her arms are. 
yellow, white, space, yellow band, color, space. Uh, the handles of the saber are going to be yellow, which you can barely see. We got some stripes down here. This one's going to go down here. And I think this entire thing is actually yellow down there for following suit. And let's just give... Let's give Daisy an orange shoe, even if that's not what she has. I'm guessing it might be, but there needs to be some sort of distinction between her foot and Rosa's foot. If that makes sense. And then we're going to look for the right kind of blue. It's looking like it's going to be either a cobalt blue or a Prussian blue. So let's test those two out. by far one of the most specific things I've ever done and I do not mind okay that was cobalt and then we're going to do Prussian blue I honestly think it's closer to the Prussian blue but I think these two would work well as shades because the Prussian blue is so dark that it's close to um what's it called it's really really close to black like this cobalt blue is already pretty dark so i'm going to use that as a flat and then i'm going to shade with the prussian to give itself the the feeling of that right so i'm going to be careful to give myself a margin next to the white so that when it inevitably does like absorb like it is there it still leaves that white stripe like get as close as you can but kind of leave like a millimeter of space between your light colors especially if you want to leave it white because eventually it's going to absorb into the paper uh okay this is all here i can put like a blue dot here because all this is white. So I'm just putting like little dots in here. shield so I mean if I poke out and then pull in there we go poke three at the top down on the bottom a little for that shield effect stripe on the socks cool and then Daisy same thing it's gonna be harder because her jersey's smaller because she's smaller the inside of this crest is also blue so you can see that a little a lot more clearly actually here so actually this is not yellow I'm gonna go over that with Prussian blue to make it pop more but also to cover the mistake since it's close to black yeah daisy's gonna need a lot of that prussian blue i don't think rose is gonna need it as much
Sheesh. Okay. Where is the Prussian? The Prussian blue is right over here. Touching up where there definitely needs to be a lot more like distinctiveness. Like daisies all like crushed in together and that shouldn't happen. So we're gonna go ahead, go in, add a little detail like where the folds in her armpits are. Her folds here. Gonna go in and blend a little. Roses mostly over here. Between here, because I feel like it's all like blue and white, so. Uh oh. Rosa, your face. Hold on. I think we saved her. Although now her mouth looks much bigger because her jaw got smaller. Oh, thanks, Roy. I appreciate it. Add some definition to this over here. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with like the brown of the orangey brown. It's an orangey brown, which is unfortunate because of Daisy's hair. Well, actually, I need to shade Daisy's hair a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more like brown. It's not just like a stark orange. And it's lacking in depth. So let's go in and fix that. There we go. So I think this right over here is pretty close to the Simpsons couch. And it's different enough from that orange. It kind of blends in a little bit, but we're going for being recognizable, right? And then areas here, there's gonna be a shadow so I can go over with a darker brown. Oh, that's supposed to be blue. Let's do that in the dark Prussian. And if we look this here as well. There we go. That's like where her body is. And straighten out Rosa's knee. There we go. 
go. A little bit of definition of that really problematic area. kind of over outlining this to show this as the shadow on the floor. Not the rose salmon. I need like a darker sepia. Yeah, I think that'll do for the couch. Starting to pop, I love what you're doing. Yeah, you gotta make it pop by adding contrasts. Contrasts are super duper important. I'm on your TV? That's so cool. Hi, I'm on Roy's TV. It sounds like a program. This might not be how, like, uh, the shadow is on the couch necessarily, but I really want, like, Daisy's hair to not, like, sink into... You know what I mean? Like, sink into that same kind. I should go in and add some more like orange to it to be honest just to make her pop. It might not be accurate to her color but like composition wise she needs to stand out more. There we go. 
kind of matches the contrast. It looks way more red on the uh, <laughs> on the camera than it does, to be honest. It looks more orangey and not just like red. In fact, I'm going to add the same orange on the shoe. here to blend. We're in the final hour actually and I expected to use up the entire time uh, doing this but it was not the case. I think it's time for a peel. Peel, 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 peel. Let me put all my Copic markers by. Well, actually, let me take out the ones that I feel like were really important to this piece. So, Rosa's yellow, Daisy's orange, I think maybe the blue. I think this is a pretty color palette. I think I'll do this because I got to take the thumbnail piece, right? And then I need to cut this out to show the test strip marks. So I'm going to leave those there. Put these back in. together so I I don't know this is so specific though I'm not quite sure what I could possibly put together with it so we could just hang out and talk for a little bit if you'd like um, but let me see in terms of what I have on the queue for the people who are on Facebook and have gotten a certain amount of badges you can also talk about different games I could play tomorrow on Twitch. Tell me about your favorite games. Tell me about things you found on Xbox uh, Game Pass. I'm not sure. Huh. I wonder how that would work, though, because I don't stream on the Xbox, but I know some things are free on Game Pass. Like, Wait, how does that work? I admire your skill. I really love how it reminds me of a comic. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the bubble. I'm going to go in and like... Thank you for reminding me about the bubble. I'm going to clean up the edges here. It takes a lot of practice. I'm still nowhere where I want to be, and I think any artist um, worth their salt is going to be true to themselves and also feel similarly. We go through a lot of imposter syndrome. But I also feel like there's definitely things I can improve upon. And the journey is never really done, you know? There you go. Let's do a nice little peel effect. And then on the bottom, once it's done peeling, I can uh, show you how it looks like with the contrast of gray behind it because it's this is white on white you know 
heal. Copic markers aren't going to have that um, really uh, defined line when you're doing a peel as if you were doing watercolors. They're going to be a little bit more blended like that. So you're either going to have to live with it and be okay with it or go in and clean it up. Now seeing as this is already a really uh, thick... Uh, it's going to bother me. I don't even know what color I used for that. Hold on. I think I used aqua. Aqua. No, did I not use aqua? Is this aqua? Boom! Baby, I did it. I also see how aqua is close to cyan. Cyan and uh, yellow make that really bright green. I just want like the bottom of her foot to be contained. There we go. All right. Or you're gonna go over it like I did to make it nice and like super straight. Um, but I kind of like the like fuzzy edge of the Copic marker on the edges. I think it gives it a little bit of character. Well, that's just my taste personally. Nice. I'm gonna take this out. So if you do it on a very thin paper, you are going to get bleed through. All right, so this is what it kind of looks like in the back. Daisy looks sasserino. Um, and this is what it looks like in the front. Sometimes I kind of liked how it looks like in the back and then I would like trace over the drawing. But uh, there's a little bit of charm to the back end of it. But it will, you need like a throwaway paper underneath if you're going to do it on like just really cheapo computer paper, you know? All right, here we go. Here's a gray background for all of you to see. And this is now the final. Go Sabres. Did I spell it right? I hope I did. Sab, 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 sabres? It's consistently spelled like that in his message. Sab. Yes, okay. Buffalo sabers. Yay. Here you go, Jeffrey. I hope you enjoy it if you're watching this back. Oh, that was a doozy. And that one had a lot of really um, huge moments of learning, like crossing the legs, the angles of the legs, one leg being at a 90 degree angle, um, elbows being at your belly button, uh, tall people's experiences on couches, small people's experiences on couches. I can usually lie down on a couch from head to toe, completely planked straight and still fit. So yeah, I will look like a child next to like David, for instance. Um, yeah, that's been really eye-opening. Thank you all so much for being here. I mean, I hate to end the stream like early. I don't think I will. I think I'll, I'll try and see what else I can do today. The whole point of uh, these was to be able to plow through more than two a week. And both of the ones that I had to do were really complicated. So they both ended up taking up one entire slot each. So I'm still where I'm at without doubling up my time to catch up on the leaderboard. So let me see. Let's look at the queue. I think I can go a little bit over if that means I catch up a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Rosalina. What is the stream called? It's Mario characters, right? Mario characters meets uh, tall people problems. You wouldn't get it. I mean, small people problems. You wouldn't understand. Um, I mean, I could just do Jekka's. Celeste from Animal Crossing is definitely not a Mario character. 
But I don't think I have any more Mario characters in the queue. We have K. Rule back air hitting Lucha Chu with markers. But again, that's like... We don't, we don't have that. All right. And then we have Cookie in a Piplup onesie that's Pokemon. D&D &D characters, Winter, Boat Times. Olga, the Campus Cat Explorer, that's animal themed. Oh, Koti wants artist choice, but enjoys anime like One Piece and Demon Slayer. Well, hmm. That has potential. There's an artist choice on here. Stephanie wants a picture of her dog. Probably gonna put the dog pictures. Like Yugi wants a picture of her dog. Stephanie wants a picture of her dog. Stephanie wants Northern Lights. May wants a butterfly. These are animals. Stephanie wants Harry Potter and her next to Harry Potter. Then Chris wants SpongeBob. Like none of these really like kind of go together with this video, unfortunately. Mm. That sucks. Okay. Well, I really was anticipating this to take the whole time. I'm kind of proud of myself that it only took like three hours and 15 minutes. Let's take a picture for... Let's take a picture for the thumbnail of this one and just chat for a bit. Let's see, next Tuesday in the morning, I will likely do Sam's request for K Rule. If we can get uh, Smash downloaded, we can also just, yeah, let's figure out what we're doing on Twitch tomorrow because I haven't the slightest. That's cute. All right. Okay, and then uh, let's cut out the test strip that I did on the side. I do these after the fact and then change the week's thumbnails on Sunday. So that when people find it, they can kind of tell which ones are like different from each other. This is cute. There we go. Uh, I'll put Chibi Me right over where the markers are. Okay, and I'm gonna hit BRB screen just so I can take a picture without uh, disrupting the camera. Yeah, all right. Yo, what's up? I'm back. 
I'm back. I'm here. Don't worry. We're back. You can stare at our, the fruits of our labor of the last few hours. Right here. Very fun. Okay. Let's send this to Jeffrey. Maybe he had a rough day. Sometimes my art is like timed in a way where it kind of ends up making a day because he has a rough day at work or whatever. And uh, I'm like, hey, here's a request. Thank you for uh, being part of the team. All right, let's do some adjustments. Marcus was supposed to be home and is not home right now. So that's really unsettling to me. I'm gonna send this over to Jeffrey. Okay, let's do, how's everyone doing? What do you all want to talk about in the last hour? I really appreciate all of your um, compliments because I'm definitely going through a lot of like imposter syndrome right now. I like absolutely despise it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna message Jeffrey from the page. Yeah, from the page. I don't know if I can. Where's my business suite? Super annoying. Maybe if I do it through the Facebook app and then go through shenanigans and then inbox. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we can search, hopefully. Jeff. Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. What on earth? Okay, I'm gonna have to send it onto Discord, download it onto my computer, and then send it to him through the computer, because I literally, like, cannot. That's super annoying. Thanks, Roy. Appreciate it. Traditional and digital is very, very different for sure. All right, <laughs> let's send this. Ooh, it looks very different on the, uh... Rosa and Daisy.
Here's your other request. I don't know. The quality looks really different on the computer for some reason. Let me see if sending it through my phone now that it bumped him up makes a difference. Here you go. It's exactly the same, never mind. Remove. Okay. There we go. You got 30 minutes. That's really not enough time to start or finish anything. I mean, it is enough time to start, but definitely not enough time to finish. I'm hoping next week, like I told Chapito, I'll be able to start on his along with Sam's. I'm even looking at some of the old stuff I did for like Jeffrey and like, I feel like I've really grown a lot as an artist like his happy birthday one when was that I did that in June and like Daisy looks so different she's a little bit more red heady in this one for sure but like she's more expressive I mean granted the last time was with watercolors and I wasn't using great watercolors at the time but it's a, it's a big difference. She was also super cross-eyed. I really like how I did the cake back then though. Y'all wanna see what I'm talking about? Also, I think the balloon transparency was on purpose, but still. Let's go to downloads. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'll scooch these over. Hey, what's up? Hey, Roy's lady. Nice to meet you. Do you have a name? Would you like to, what would you like me to call you? You don't have to share your actual name, but I do have to call you something. I'm Angie, nice to meet ya. Um, I'm about to show some old artwork from June in comparison to now in November. That's why it's like scooched over that way. So just give me a second. All right. So this was Daisy from the same person. The same person requested this one. Oh, it's flipped. Let me see. Uh, for flip horizontal. There you go. So this is like you can still see I use the same like background. It looks way more like Daisy on the left, but like she's literally cross-eyed. There's like a whole slew of things going on here. I think honestly, if I fix the eye, I would like this piece a lot more. I, again, you can see Jeffrey wanted me to write, Jeffrey, you're a great racer. Uh, this was for his birthday. It was very delayed. I delivered it in like Jaloon, Jaloon, balloons in June or July. What was it? June. It was in June and now this is November. He asked for something way more complicated. Jen! What's up, Jen? Hi, hello. Uh, now you can kind of see the difference. This is also a much smaller piece because it's the same size paper and I had to fit two characters on a sofa with background. So... 
I had to do this in like half size. I would say a third size, really. But yeah, this is what I did today. What kind of things do you like to do, Jen? She's a fellow artist as well. Nice, nice. Yeah, I really struggled through this piece. It's not my proudest work, but everyone else kind of likes it, so that's good. As long as the client likes it sort of mentality at this point. I can show you what I did yesterday. I made Charizard. You can actually look through uh, the rest of my YouTube videos if you'd like. You can you know, do it like times two playback. You know what I really like to do? I really like to do these streams and then have like people draw along with me. Not like us drawing the same thing, but us like coexisting and working on our projects together. This is what I did yesterday. This is Charizard. That's what I did. And then I can show you a few more of my other stuff while we chat. materials do you use? Uh, let's see. So that was Charizard. We got the savers. I've done people's like family members. I've done things like for David combining like my puppets from the stream with like uh, Encanto characters. <laughs> Oh, this is the sketch of Jeffrey, you're a great racer. So this is, these are the one and the same. Charizard's awesome. Yeah, thanks. I did that one yesterday. So you can kind of see sketch versus your final. I want to see your sketch versus your final. I want to see how messy they are. I want to see how neat they are. So use the sound so we can all see. Yeah, I don't know. I have TikTok sound stuck in my head. So there's this one. This one was recent as well, probably like a couple weeks ago. Um, but I do Copic markers as well as a watercolor. This is a watercolor piece. This is Lassie. I think I did this a couple months ago. What was this? Zoe's. Uh, actually, I think this is like maybe last year or early, early this year. I think I did this with my old watercolors. This might be like a year old or something at this point. Whereas this is another watercolor piece. I use this with my newer watercolors. I did this one for canvas. Uh, so I don't get paid for these. So if you want to tip me, <laughs> if you'd like to tip me, I would appreciate it. Um, but these are requests from the Facebook gaming community for people who've earned them. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm just showing all of you. This is actually a logo from Depcat Like Reflexes Gaming. I did a lot of frisking on this one. This one was also a recent one that we just checked off the list. That's his logo. We did Carl and Wesley for Olga. We did a, oh, here's another one for Olga. It's the same cat, but done in a different style. This one's the Lisa Frank style. This one's my style. But very different. Like this is Copic marker and gel pen. A little bit of everything. I definitely feel that. Nothing wrong with furry art. Furry art's really good. Traditional is her forte. Yeah, these are traditional art streams here on Facebook. Not Facebook, sorry. YouTube. You I used to do my art streams on Facebook, but there wasn't a proper tag for it, so I kept getting flagged, so I moved them over here, where there is still no proper tag, despite how large of, of a market there is on YouTube for art streams. I think most art streams are under, like, entertainment for whatever reason. It's silly. YouTube, make a make an art tag. Very silly of you. Um, but yeah. This is Copic. This is watercolor. Those are like my happy spots. Also do fan art. So this one was... These are both requested by Chipito. A lot of these are requested by Chipito, actually. So Pokemon Arceus. And then... Um, what is this? This 
this sword in here? No. Where is a poplio? Oh, yeah. No, this is definitely Sword and Shield character, but this is with her favorite Pokemon. He, she, he always asks me to do stuff for his friends. He's so fun. He's so funny and kind. This one's Piplup and Harriet's Animal Crossing costume. And actually, I'm going to be doing the cookie in a Piplup onesie to kind of like contrast this one. So you'll probably see this again next week. We just did a Monchi cat. That's a Lisa Frank inspired piece with the cat haunt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one was a request. So Olga had asked me to draw her cat in a Lisa Frank style. And I was like, okay, sure. Here's another one with Harriet. This is her Animal Crossing outfit with all of the pip lips. I really liked this one. This one was really cute. This one was fun to do. Uh, anime watercolor. This is my OC. I made her eyes way bigger than I usually do, only because I wanted to like play around with the watercolors. This is Sam's cat. Piplup's your favorite? No way. Sam's kitty cat. So sweet. This is not a tongue. This is actually a marking on her on her lip. What a sweet kitty cat. And then we have some more Copic. We have some more Copic marker here. Um, this was Martha in an Alola Pokemon style with her favorite Pokemon, Mimikyu. Alola, wish you were here. Yeah. Very fun. This one was also a lot of fun to do. This one you can tell kind of has the same style as my PNG tube. So this one was more recent. Yo, Winter, hello. Did the bath help out? Um, and then this one was a cat. Cats. Here's cats. Hey, the glitch stop. Welcome back. Four cats in Copic marker. I really liked this one. This one was a lot of fun to do. The darker ones are a little bit trickier. I like the tuxedo kitties because then like you can have more fun with strokes and stuff like that. But as you can see, I have a lot of different varied styles. It's just basically what is it exactly that the person wants. And this, this one is the same person who wanted the like, I heard you're a great racer. So this is from, these requests are from the same person. He wants very involved things. And yeah. On that note, what do you think I should play on Twitch tomorrow? I'm glad it helped you out. I really wasn't expecting to finish this in three hours. I thought I was going to be running out of time. But I did not. Jeffrey just got it. Wonderful. Another one delivered. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey. All right. Gonna clean up a little bit. Kind of start putting the stuff away. What's up? Got a poll on Discord? No. There's no poll on this one. The Twitch ones aren't a poll. They're like my choice, but I don't have a clue what I want to do. Polls are fine when the choices are something I'd be willing to do, but a lot of times the polls end up choosing things that I am not like ready for. Like a bunch of you mentioned, oh, play Hollow Knight. And I'm like, I don't want to play Hollow Knight. I'm not in a mental state where I can handle things like Hollow Knight right now. And I have to think about my own well-being. So the Twitch ones are kind of like an Angie's Choice sort of thing. 
but I'm just sort of like playing around with the idea of like something comfy cozy. I don't know. I'm even at the point where like I really wanted to play potion permit, but even potion permits getting to the like, oh, I'm going to be anxious because I'm like, I think I'm at the part of the game where like everyone's getting really sick and a lot of like my anxieties are my friends and family getting sick. So I don't really want to do that, if that makes sense. Um, oh, my leg is itchy. I wonder if that's a bite. Hold on. John, I see you. I have you on my second monitor. That's wonderful. Yeah, we're just chatting for the last uh, 20 minutes since I finished a little bit early and then I delivered it and stuff. I don't even... The problem is, is I don't know a single game I would want to play. It's the opposite of having too many choices. It's the like... I really don't want to like purchase anything else and I'm really kind of burnt out well not burnt out in the sense of like like if I were to play Fall Guys or if I were to play like the other things that are on my usual rotation I'd be totally fine to do that but I feel like it's a wasted opportunity to just choose something I normally would play on Facebook anyways you know what I mean because it's like it's another platform I feel obligated to play like an indie game I feel obligated to like play something out of my norm or out of my niche and then the things that I'm like oh well I would play X game if I had time for it either I don't have the money to buy it or like I don't know and it's just like analysis paralysis I guess you could say I want one for game and one for comments. Yeah, that makes sense. I have two monitors as well uh, because I play on the Nintendo Switch. I actually need a third one. And then I use a lot of the monitors as half monitors. So right now, because I'm not using this as a gaming one, um, this is not gaming. So I have one monitor all the way up and it just has the YouTube dashboard because it's really, really involved and I have the chat of the YouTube dashboard there. And then my other monitor is half of the OBS and half of Discord. I don't know. Like, I don't wanna cancel. I definitely wanna do things I'm excited for. I'm excited to be able to use that platform tomorrow. I'm excited for the opportunity to finally do something a little different. Now, what is that little different? I haven't the slightest. I don't know. And I, I I, know I say like, oh, I could do like indie games, I could do niche games, but I don't want it to be so niche that people don't know about it and it's not relevant at all. And then it feels like a waste. I don't want to waste my time, if that makes sense. I'm just so overly anxious and overwhelmed right now about like everything. I don't know. <sighs> this is why too, it's important to ask for consent before you like, uh, you know, rant to a friend or talk about things on people's streams. Like, anything that I shared right now, I was just saying, I have a general sense of anxiety and overbearing. I am, like, paralysis. I didn't go into the specifics of why, the, the specifics of what triggered me, because I don't want to trigger you. 
and anytime in like a voice call even if it's private with like a friend you should ask your friend especially if they're there like always listening to you all the time like hey you know what i might talk about right now is this topic are you okay to listen to that how are you doing mentally are you in a space to be able to support me um, because sometimes even your most supportive friends like they might not say it but they might not be doing so hot and they might you know want to still be supportive of you but not be able to take on those burdens and just have them like in your face constantly all the time i think it happens to streamers a lot i'm not gonna lie because it's just like you deal with so many people and not everybody understands those boundaries yet so people come into chat they trauma dump they just go way into specific so this is kind of like a psa like hey it's kind of polite to just ask the person if they have the spoons in order to like handle news. Does that make sense? I just, just something that I've been needing to get off my chest for a bit. Uh, anyways, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I guess I could just go on with more Fall Guys. I don't know. I do have the, I still have to hit 200. Let's see what's trending on Twitch right now. Twitch.tv. I didn't know OBS, oh God. I didn't know OBS transfer windows from different monitors. Transfers windows from different monitors. What do you mean? Let's look at the browse. Let's look at categories right now are these recommended for me let's do viewers high to low just chatting is number one like always the top row none of this i i mean overwatch 2 is free but i don't really like play overwatch i don't really play fortnite i'm against blizzard so we're not doing hearthstone which is unfortunate because i used to host hearthstone firesides minecraft makes me sick Again, not doing StarCraft for similar reasons. I mean, there is Genshin Impact. Maple Story? Oh no. Oh no, why is that tempting? Oh cool, yeah, you can definitely do a display capture. John Doe, whoa. John Doe, whoa. Uh, let me open up my mod resource sheet. I'm really excited that you're excited about getting your stuff set up. John Dowo. Okay. Just want to make sure I have your right last name in here. I'm giving out badges for people who come say hi in the stream. Different John. Okay. So you're John S. John, are you in a team? John Doiza. Do you have an animal team that you're in? Do you know? Are you in our Discord? Let me see if I can tag you and check myself. John S. One second, one second. You are in cats. Got it. I answered my own question. Oh God, do I really want to download Maple Story again? That thing I beta tested for Maple Story and then I left it. And then I came back and then I left it. And then I came back and then I left it. Why are there so many people streaming Maple Story? Why are there so many people watching Maple Story? What on earth? Oh no. That's slightly tempting, but I don't know. Yeah, I just tagged you. You can ignore that. I tagged you so I could see your uh see your team role. I deleted it. You can ignore that. Sonic Frontiers, I don't have. I don't feel like doing retro gaming. 
Clash Royale, no. I do have Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I beat that one already. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Super Smash Brothers Melee specifically, not Ultimate. Yeah, no. I don't feel like playing Unite. I'm already going to be playing Unite that evening. Perfect example. Uh, Arceus? I guess. I don't really feel like Arceus either. Stardew Valley, I played with Jones and other people. And now I play with Jones. But Jones is... Makers and crafting. Interesting. Animal Crossing still has viewers. Interesting. I mean, maybe I just play Animal Crossing. What's Plate Up? Oh, Plate Up. That could be interesting. It's like overcooked, but it's browser based. Melee is what I tested my graphics and processor with. Neat. Mario Kart. Again, I just... I don't... Everything just feels like a waste. The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. There's Gartic Phone. <sighs> Stumble Guys just looks like Fall Guys, but like not Fall Guys. Dave the Diver. Again, is that free? I could do Dreamlight Valley. I'm very interested in perhaps starting my Dreamlight Valley on Twitch. There's so many people playing it though. It's like a never ending list. Good God. I don't even know if I am Marinos. Geoguesser? Yeah, it's gonna be in the middle of the day though, is the thing. Thank you, Angie, for being the best part of my day. Just what I needed. Oh, Merchy. Thank you for being the best part of my day. I mean, I was just going on about how I'm like super anxious about so many things and just in general. Detroit Become Human. I don't know. I don't know any of these games. I'm not like even interested in any of these games. Dofus? The flashback. Flash-based, tactical, turn-oriented, MMO, role-playing game. Based off of the French anime. People follow this. Wow, that's pretty neat. People are still watching others play Let's Go Eevee. Aw, uh, you're all really sweet. <laughs> I'm just like in a funk right now in this very moment. I'll get out of it before tomorrow for sure. I don't like to go. This is usually why I don't stream during this time because I just get like really in my head. You know? I just like... This is usually like my time off where I curl underneath the blanket and like curl up and just want to like not... Oh, I could do something like words on stream. I could do something with like chat interaction. I just don't know how many chatters I'm going to have at that point. Have y'all tried words on stream before? It's basically like Scrabble and you like type in the chat to like guess the words on the stream. I think that would be fun. I always wanted to put that on like my BRB screen, but it just wouldn't work on Facebook because it only works on Twitch, but then I'd be on Twitch.
Ah, uh, so much anxiety about just everything. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll take Twitch off tomorrow. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wow. My sigh was so strong. I just like pushed this. Look at all these games I'm so not interested in. Oh, Scribble IO. I mean, that's similar to Gartic Phone. I also think that's like Captain Eclipse's thing right now. I've already played Unpacking. I'm like all the way down. Some of the games I would be interested in literally only have like 38 viewers like worldwide. Like that's not gonna like help, you know? I don't know. Garden story is cute. Oh, I don't know. Potion permit has 31 viewers. Wow, rip me. Rip all the games I actually like. I don't know, fam bam. I think I'm gonna side off. I'm not feeling any better, to be honest, but thank you for being the best part of my day, like Murchie said. It's really sweet of all of you to be here. All right, well, I'll figure it out, I suppose. Let's see what we got going. Stream time is over, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, stream time is over. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Shenanjigang. Next time on Shenanjigans, I'm going to figure out something for our Twitch stream. If you'd like to follow me there and you're not following me on Twitch already, it is 18 plus Shenanjigans with Evil Angie. If you'd like to call her that, Spicy Angie, Nega Angie. These are the rest of my social media right over here, right behind me as well. One, two, three, go retro. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. What a great name. Thanks for being there. I'm about to end stream right now. Night, night. Until next time. <laughs>